This morning and happening here, the Rhode Island Radio and TV Hall of Fame is holding its induction ceremony for the class of 2023 this Thursday. Our very own former morning anchor, Daniel North, and past investigative reporting, just a great guy, Jack White, will also be inducted as well. Joining us today to tell us all about this event is former radio host and 2010 inductee Ron St. Pierre and 2011 inductee John Rook is also here. And if that wasn't enough, both of them worked here doing sports. <laughs> <laughs> so it, so wait, it's like wait, going wait. home. <laughs> it was black and white. You, know, I you had to move your recall. antennas. You had to move the antenna back. So what year, Ron, what year were you here? Um, I was here from 82 to the Patriots Super Bowl, 86. Then I came back in the early 90s to do some filling. Okay, John, what were Late you... Late 80s, 88 to 91, 92. Right, yes. Yeah. the telethons yeah. used to be done out of this yeah. room. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. right. Yeah. right. Yeah. It's, cra it's crazy, yeah. so it's great to have you guys here. Thank Ron, you. I'll start with you. Talk to us about the, uh, the, the Hall of Fame induction. The, the inductions, it's a wonderful event because it's a celebration of broadcasting, both radio and television, on mic, on camera, behind the scenes, recognizing the people that have made an impact in the broadcasting in, in the entire Providence uh, metro, all through Rhode Island. Rhode Island. And we are in our 14th year, right, John? 14th year. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and, and really, John, I mean, a lot of work goes into to putting, this, putting this event together, and it's always nice when everyone, all of us, can get together and kind of see each other and, you know, honor those who have done so much for, for the, uh, the broadcast industry here in Rhode Island. One of the best things about it, uh, Will, is the fact that we get a chance to see these people that we've not only competed against but have become friendly with over the years. So it turns into almost like a big reunion, which right. is really kind of fun, to be honest with you. I used to hate your guts, you know, but, but for one night, <laughs> but for one night, night I'm going to like one you. One night only. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's midnight. We're off. <laughs> but we, we listen, that, and we celebrate the industry, and we've had so many talented sure. people. Uh, we're so lucky to have so many talented people to come through this area that this is something that we, this long past due, we were glad we were able to start this back in the, uh, in 2009, I guess it was, yeah, right? right? Yeah. And kind of blend yeah. everybody together. First for a while, it was just radio, mm -hmm. and then we brought in, everybody's brought in the TV. TV, yeah. um, We're going to talk about the, the class of 2023. Let's start, you, Ron, I'm going to have you just talk about Chris Camp. Chris Camp was uh, the... Uh, news director at uh, WPRO. He was also a uh, morning drive with Jimmy Gray. And hello. he was, yeah, hello, I'm Jimmy Gray. Uh, and uh, Chris was Jimmy's foil right. on the FM, but he was the news director on the AM. Um, the station had fallen behind a couple of other stations in, in News Talk, which, I mean, come on, you can't fall behind if you're WPRO. Right. And make Chris was the news director, it brought it right back to its prominence, and that's where it's remained. Yeah, yep. also on the list, our own Danielle North uh, is, is on that list, too. And I mean, we know and love her, and you know, she used to do so much great work for the community and everything mm -hmm. else, and, and is still out there in her new, uh, in her new career doing, doing a lot of great work. Uh, Doug Palmieri is on the list as well, media program director on air at uh, HJY and uh, W. USNE. Yep. Good example of our industry now, John, and yeah. well, how, how many hats you've got to wear. Right. I mean, he's an on-air personality on uh, 93.3, uh, then he does afternoon drive on HJY and programs both of them and also handles other markets. I right. mean, that's, which, that's, it's but he's been doing it for a long time, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. which right. is why, yeah. yeah. And another person who a lot of people love, John Parenti, <clears throat> is on that, uh, on that list as well. John is one of the true veterans in this business, in this state, and if you know anything about youth and high school sports, his name has certainly crossed your path over the years. He was a um, he was an athletic director at Johnson and Wales. Helped start that athletic program there. Uh, he's been on local radio for eons, yeah, I think, yeah. high school, local stuff, coached in uh, uh, Legion Ball. I mean, John has done a little bit of everything. And right. it's great to recognize small market. Sure. Uh, and, and and which is important as, to them. Well, yeah. well uh, Gene, Gene Valicenti is on the list also from, you know, WJR and, and WPRO Radio. Um, Pam Watts, who also used to work right here, is mm -hmm. just an incredibly great lady as well. She, Another person like Danielle who walks into a room and just lights it up. Yeah. I mean, Pam's terrific. And then uh, also on the list posthumously is, is our own uh, Jack White, who was just an incredible guy, just a sweet man, but did incredible work as an investigative reporter right here <laughs> at, uh, at uh, Channel 12 as well. One little quick Jack White story, because his desk was right across from mine when I worked here eons ago. Right. And I remember one day I came in from when training camp was being held at Bryant College at the yeah. time. And he looks at me, he goes, Rook, 
what the hell is wrong with the Patriots? And I'm like, Jack, really, please. But, I mean, he truly was a huge fan, and uh, we love talking to him. He should have like known. He could have investigated. <laughs> he probably I, should have. I was lucky enough to work with Jack, too, when I was here. He's just a wonderful yeah, yeah. just man. a really good yeah. good man as well. Yeah. So so tickets are available to the to the event, and it really is a, a fun, fun night for everybody. It's going to be right at the Crown Plaza. And the public's well. invited. The public yep. is invited. You know, this to isn't just well. about us, right. the industry. Right. Uh, you know, if you've ever if you've listened to these people, you've watched them. Uh, you want to celebrate with us? Please yes. get some tickets. Come out, come out, and uh, it's it's great to see you guys. Thanks so much for for coming in. Uh, now, for a full list of those inducted into the class of 2023 and more information on the ceremony, you can head on over to roadshow.com.